Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for uh, another look at an intriguing Sudoku puzzle. This is from Jodawo, who very much subscribes to the view that uh, putting the least information in the grid is the best way to go. And it is always makes for an entertaining puzzle. That almost looks like there's definitely too little in this grid. But there we go. It is a puzzle, so we'll have a go at it. Um, now, don't forget that coming up on Patreon, we've got the Nightmare Sudoku Hunt. That's coming up on the 1st of April. And also, our apps uh, include the Gas 2 app, which is now out. So, genuinely approachable Sudoku by Philip Newman, Clover, and Bill Murphy. Some brilliant puzzles to... They're not at the harder end of the spectrum. Now, we're working hard on our line Sudoku app, but that's a while away. Um, now, there's the stable of apps that we have, um, which include Knight's Move, Arrow, and uh, Killer apps. Oh, and, and um, Domino Sudoku. So they're all relevant to this puzzle today, but do check them all out. They're all available on the links under the video, along with our merchandise, Sven Sudoku Pad, all the stuff around the channel. Check it out, and uh, we will go through the rules of this puzzle now and take it on. So, less is more by Jadawu. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so we're putting one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box. Identical digits cannot be a chess knight's move apart, and here is part of the key to what's going on in this puzzle. So, none of the yellow cells could be the same as the purple cell because they would be a chess knight's move away. And sometimes that rule can do quite a lot of heavy lifting in a puzzle and reduce the need for further markings, which is good because there aren't many. Digits along an arrow sum to the digit in the circle, so those three add up to that one. Digits in a cage sum to the total given. <laughs> there are just three cages, and the total given is 27 every time. Um, digits... Oh no, a black dot indicates a 1 to 2 ratio between the digits it connects. Okay, those are the rules. That's all we get. Do give it a try on the link under the video. You can probably estimate from the video length how difficult it is. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, so I suppose the black dots... Yeah, I mean the black dots, right, are either 1, 2, 4 or 2, 4, 8. Once you get a... A triple like that. There must be a kind of a, f a ratio of one to four connection between the extremes. So you have either a two or a four in the middle. Now one two four is not going to work in this cage because one two four adds up to seven. The other two cells would have to add up to twenty and one of them would be at least eleven. So that's not right. So it's a two four eight cage and that does get us a start. Um, in fact, what are the other digits in the cage? Those add up to 14. The other digits add up to 13. There are three combinations of two digits that add up to 13, and 4 and 9 and 8 and 5 have been ruled out because we can't repeat a digit in well, the cage or the box. So they're a 6-7 pair, and that's a start straight away. Now, there's several possibilities to get. No, there aren't. Okay, this has a three cell arrow sticking out the other end. So, let's just note down the theoretical possibilities here. One, two, three, five, to give a total of five, six, seven, nine. And I think we will rule some of those out. We can certainly rule out four plus one equals five, because there aren't enough cells on this arrow to add up to five. Uh, there are too many cells on this arrow to add up to 5. Now, similarly, if you put 4, 2, 6 there, these would have to be 1, 2, 3, and you'd have a clash of 2s in the row. So that's not a 6, that's not a 2. 4, 3, 7 equally doesn't work, maybe even more obviously doesn't work, because the 7 would need a 1, 2, 4 here, and that would clash as regards 4. So we've got more digits in the grid now. This is a set of three that add up to nine that don't have four and five in. If you work through the possibilities, you'll find that one, two, six is the only one remaining. And they have a two in and look back at this cell, which must be an eight. Uh, they also actually look back at, they have a six in and they look back at this cell, which must be seven. 
and now we've got loads of digits in the grid and I'm feeling quite chipper and chuffed. I think in this 27 cage we need a 6 here. 9, we've either got 10 or 11 in those, so these add up to 17 or 16 and definitely have a 9 in along with an 8 or 7. Oh, and I'd forgotten this. Oh, well, this has got to be the same, hasn't it? It's got to be a 248, yes. Because of the 27 total of the cage, we can't have a 124 triple there, or these would have to add up to 20. So it's a 248 triple. Again, 4 in the middle, 2 and 8 flanking it, and then this pair to make the total add up to 27, just like up there, has to be a 6-7 pair. And now we begin to... Oh no, okay. This this cell, right, three digits adding up to a number here. It had to be six, seven, eight, or nine, but it can't be six or nine. So that's seven or eight. There must be a one on this arrow, therefore this isn't a one. If it's eight, it's one three four. If it's seven, it's one two four. So there's definitely a four on this arrow. I know it's not one two five if it's eight because of that. Six is in one of those cells, so it's not there. That's a two. Now there's not a two on this arrow. It's one, three, four, and it adds up to eight. And this is a six and a seven, which we can fill in. This is now a six and a one, so we know that the cage total is 27 minus those 10. That makes this a nine, eight pair. We know the order, thanks to that, eight. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely flow to this puzzle. Now there's a seven in one of those, a two in one of those, and four and five apart from that. One, nine in one of those, and one, five, three somewhere in the corner. It still feels like there's not enough going on. This can't be an eight now. Oh, that 8 is looking down here, 2 and 8. Doesn't sort out the 6, 7 pair. Oh, it is an ironclad rule of knight's move constraints or of chess constraints that I will forget them at some point in the puzzle. And I have forgotten them for approximately 5 minutes and 14 seconds of this puzzle. And I've remembered them now and they will matter. Look, this can't be 9 or 8. So, and it's three cells. Yes. So it's got to be seven or six because of it being three different cells that it's adding up. Six is made up of one, two, three. Seven of one, two, four. Both of those have a two in. The two must go here. This is a one, three, or a one, four pair. And I'm going to try and not forget the knight's move rule from now on, he said foolishly. Um... It's going to be a two in one of those. Now, what can I do with the knight's move rule? I'll tell you what I can do. Three is in one of those cells in box nine, and one of those two in box six. Not there because of the knight's move. This can't be either of those. They see, they both see that. One by Sudoku and one by the knight's move. So it's five or seven, or three actually. Three, these are from one, five, nine. Now, what, okay, eight can't be there by the knight's move. So one of those two is an eight. Ah, oh, five can't be there. So five in the central box is in one of those. Now what's that doing to this? This, oh look, this sees both of these two. So it can't be six or seven. That's one of the kind of interesting matchups you get in in a knight's move Sudoku. Those two cells are both looking. Well, actually, they're both looking at both of those cells, but they're both looking at this cell. That one by knight's move. That one just vertically. So this can't be six or seven. It also can't be two, four, eight, or nine, or five. So it has to be one or three. And we're on the verge. This one can't be 9, 8, 3, 6, 2, or 4. So that's 1, 5, or 7. Surely something here 
How did I know that couldn't be six because of that pair? Yes. Um, yeah, come on, let's just keep keep going here. Three is in one of those. Hmm. And there's a lot of empty real estate in this puzzle, as I observed at the beginning. It's really a little surprising that it still fills uniquely. Oh, four is looking at that cell. That can't be a four. Might have to get our colouring pencils out soon. Um, okay, I'm going to try colouring this. Oh, lovely. Right, I was thinking that I couldn't relate those six sevens to that, but I can. That's really interesting. Right, let's make that yellow. Now, obviously, one of these is the six or seven that is yellow. Therefore, yellow in column five now can't be in any of those cells. That one's a knight's move away from there. So it's in one of those two, and they both see this. So this can't be yellow, so it's the other flavor of six or seven. So that's red, that's yellow. Um, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, it's much simpler, I'm sorry. Okay, that seven sees that cell. Now, I didn't notice that before I forgot, before I remembered the knight's move thing. So the only place for seven in this box is there. And that now sees yellow. So yellow is six, which is a bit surprising, but there we go. Um, sorry, I'm just flu footling around the grid trying to get the results of that in. Now, seven can't be in these cells anymore. That's a 153 triple. This is six. That's one. I'm going to just keep colouring yellow and red for now. Because um, it might help. Six is in one of those. Seven is in one of these two. It can't be there by night's move from the seven we placed in box three. That seven is red, of course, so we colour those red. Now, seven is in one of these three cells in box eight. They do all see one cell in box five, but it's that one. So I don't know, maybe this is going to peter out a bit as an idea, but it, it felt fairly strong. And it's got us. Oh, this is a one, two, three thing, obviously. Right. Right. Where is one in column seven? It's in one of those two cells. And both of those would prevent a one appearing here in row four, column six. That one by night's move, that one by horizontalness. So that's a three. That's a one. This three looks back down at this cell and sorts out this chocolate teapot triple. And there we go. That's nice. OK, so we're going to get a one in one of those cells, a three in one of those. Five, that five looks at that cell. So we've placed five in box five. Then we're going to get a five somewhere in column six there, a five somewhere in row five there. Um, three, nine, six, seven, eight. Yeah, what next? That five reaches that cell, so that's not five. Oh, that five, much more importantly, reaches that cell. We've only just found that. Okay, good. So now that's a one, three pair. This is a four. That one three is resolved by this three on the knight's move. Don't forget the knight's move. Nine five, that three with the knight's move gets to there. This two five is not resolved by knight's move. The only three, the only two cells on the top three rows. This is seven or eight. Um, that's not a one. Oh, five has got placed in this box there. Then we get a five in one of those two. Seven. 
no, eight can't be in either of the... Oh, look at that. Where, where is eight in the middle row? That is very pretty. That eight sees those two. That eight sees those two. So this is where eight is in the middle row. Uh, then we've got three, six, and seven down here. But seven reaches both of those cells. So that's the seven, which goes red. Uh, this is a three, six pair. And that's got a three in it as well. So there's an X-wing on threes. And we get a three into one of those two cells. Not there, by the way, because of the three in the corner losing its religion. We're going to end up with three in one of the in two of these cells, funnily enough. Right, that is not a seven. That is four or nine. Looking out for knight's moves and not seeing much. This is seven or nine. It sees all the other digits horizontally or vertically. Hmm, I don't think going around pencil marking is probably the best thing to do. Two and one. There's a one somewhere here. One, two. Oh, I don't know. It's not giving up. Um threes we got quite good progress on threes ones not quite so obvious to me twos this is the trouble with knight's move is it, it kind of moves in in mysterious unfolding flows two eight seven six four has to be in one of those two no four is placeable in this box that four sees those cells and by knight's moves that there that there we can place four here that place is, it doesn't place two, calm down. Uh, but nine, nine could be anywhere here, that's really annoying. We've hardly got any nines, or certainly none that reach this box by night's move. Now, what can we do with that four then? Almost nothing. Two, seven, or nine there, that's two or nine. Um, oh, this seven that we got. There's a seven in one of those two cells. That does stop seven appearing in these, but all of those are still possible. So, oh, no, no, no. There's only one place for seven in row eight, which is here, if we remember the knight's move again. Now we can place seven in column three. It has to be there. Again, the knight's move helps. Now, that can't be a seven. That hasn't actually killed off the remaining sevens. Yes, it has. That's the only place left to be seven in box six. So that's the seven in box five. I don't really need that colouring anymore. Sevens are all done. Let's have a look at sixes. Yes, six in box six is now fixed. Uh, that wasn't meant to be a poem. Six. Yes, I can do six over here as well. They can both go yellow. Six. Yes, in column two. And the last six, there it is, in box eight. And that gives me a three. That place is three. In box nine, it doesn't see into this double three segment. Um, that is five or nine. Can't be a one. Five, three, one, four, seven, six. So... Two, eight, and nine. I can't see how to do them. What about this row? Four, nine, five, one, seven, six. That can't be three. This can't be two. That can't be eight. That is two or nine. Oh, there's some knights move somewhere that's trying to trying to help. Oh, four. Four I can place in this box right there. Um so that's two or three. These are a pair, and they both see that cell, which can't be two anymore. Because one of those is a two, and that's going to stop this being a two. So that's nine. That's two. Now this is a nine-eight pair. That I don't think the... Yes, the knight's move isn't fixing, but that four-nine pair is. So we're okay there. One and eight up here. Knights move from the centre, resolves them. Wow, you have to look everywhere. Three, two. Now we've got the threes done there. 
one, two, four is a triple here. That one can't be four, that one can't be two. Five, eight, nine is a triple here, and this one can't be five or eight, so that's a nine. Then we've got a five, eight pair beneath it that I can't resolve, I don't think. I might be missing something here. Now, this is just a naked single. So it's 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 in the column, 4, 8, 9 in the row. That's a 5. Oh, I said that as if it would be conclusive. That 2, actually, has sorted out 5, 2 up there. So that's 9. This is a 1, 5 pair. This is 1 or 2, but it sees a 2 on the knight's move. Excellent. So now we've got two, four, eight, and nine to put in. This is the only place left for two. Nine sees both of those, so that's nine. Four sees down to there, so that's an eight. And we're finished, I think. Eight, five, four, one, five, one, nine, and four. And that's a lovely puzzle. Not too difficult, as promised, actually, by Joe Darwo. Less is more. I think that's been proved in that puzzle. Very few markings. Just, I mean, just four arrows, three cages, and four Grotky dots. And yet, it's a beautiful unwinding of a puzzle. Really nice stuff from Jadawa. And uh, we thank them for that. And we'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for more Sudoku. Thanks for watching, as always. Bye for now.